I've been obsessed with Zenless Zone Zero lately, so here's a few tips I've put together for new players. First off, spend your battery charge every day to maximise your XP and level up as quickly as possible. Even if you don't plan on playing it much that day, just hop on, power through a few combat simulations, and your XP and resources will stack up. Speaking of battery charge, don't spend any polychrome on it. It can be tempting so you can level up quicker, but your battery charge fully restores every 24 hours, so just be patient and keep your polychrome for more important things. Oh, and don't forget to grab a coffee for that extra 60 charge. Learn the character's movesets. Once you've unlocked the VR headset, you'll get quick access to training mode. Here, you get the cooperation exercises for characters you've either met or own, and they're super handy for learning what each character is good for. Next, don't craft B-Rank W engines. When you're in the gadget store, you might see a B-Rank W engine that'd be a great fit for your agent. Don't take the bait. You get plenty of B-Ranks when pulling gacha, so just focus on getting the A-Ranks instead. Collect all side commissions. Always keep an eye out for blue markers. These indicate side quests. You get these by chatting to people on the street, or you can just open up the fast travel menu and look for the blue marker. This will save you a lot of running around. Factions and elements. Every character has an element and a faction assigned to them. If two characters in your party are part of the same faction or element, they get different effects. For example, with Ellen, her ice damage increases by 3% for 10 seconds after dealing ice damage if she has another member of the Victoria Housekeeping or another ice character in her party. So there's a few things to know if you're getting started in ZZZ. Once I've spent more time with the game, I might make a follow-up video with some more advanced tips. Now, go pull some S-Ranks. <laughs>